In this video we're going to find out why April 5th 1933 is a very important day in American history. It is also a very important day in general because it is Satoshi's birthday. But where did Satoshi get the date of April 5th from? Well, on that date former president Franklin D. Roosevelt placed an executive order forcing Americans to trade their gold to fiat currencies. And we're going to talk about why this is so important and how it directly relates to Bitcoin and why Satoshi chose that date as its birthday. It directly relates to the liberties that Bitcoin provides us with. Before 1933 America had the Great Depression. So basically what ended up happening to solve the Great Depression is similar to what we have seen in 2020 and beyond is the printing of money, the mass amount of debt. So how can a country stop or erase the poor decisions that they have made? Well you control the money supply, you control the value and that is exactly what this executive order did. It forced people with a significant amount of gold to turn it over to the Federal Reserve in return they received fiat dollars. Well what the president then did was devaluate those US dollars to pay off the debt that was incurred during the depression. And the president gave the people literally one month to do this towards the deadline to surrender your gold or trade it for a fiat currency, paper currency on May the 5th 1935. And the big issue with this is we are allowing the United Government, the Federal Reserve to control the money supply, to control the value. The United States of America has the most amount of gold in the world. In 2021 the United States holds 8134 metric tons in Fort Knox. But guess what? Fort Knox has never been audited, not once. And we have no idea if that amount is even true. The next country behind the US that owns a large supply of gold is going to be Germany and they clock in at approximately 3,363 metric tons of gold. And now you see the issue is with not being able to audit what Fort Knox actually has is problematic because we're basically taking the Federal Reserve, taking public servants word for it, stating that we have X amount of gold or we have X amount of resources but there's no way to prove it. None at all. And this is why Bitcoin was created. Bitcoin was created because you could track it. We know how much Bitcoin is in circulation. We know how much Bitcoin will ever be made and we know exactly how much Bitcoin certain people hold for the most part. And Bitcoin solves a lot of problems and one of the problems is it solves in addition to being able to be tracked. Bitcoin holds people accountable because we are able to actually see how much certain people have when a transaction is done. But the point of all this is that Bitcoin provides a lot of solutions for the current financial system. Right now in America we see a mass amount of debt and it keeps growing and all these things are happening. The dollar is being devaluated. A lot of people around the world don't want to trade with the US dollar. They don't want to use the dollar as a currency anymore. And on top of all of this inflation is absurdly out of control. Home prices are crazy. Cost of living prices are crazy fruit prices but Bitcoin does solve a lot of these problems and you know we are going to get the CBDC push through but I think that Bitcoin does have the opportunity to potentially level the playing field out and truly help people globally to have a complete control over their money without a third party like the US government stepping in and saying you need to hand it over to the Federal Reserve today. If you like this video make sure to like, comment and subscribe and if you want to buy crypto on the spot market make sure to use my Bitcoin where you receive a massive deposit bonus and guys make sure to be for crypto.